make this uh, kind of video here real quick. Inside Out movie review thoughts. Well, review right off the bat, five stars. I liked it a lot. Um, what else? Thoughts on Inside Out uh, 2, part 2. Uh, nice. It's a good movie. I liked it. I liked it. I enjoyed it very much. I like that it's, uh, like, anxiety doesn't waste any time, like, I guess, bottling them up. It's, uh, because the joy is the dominant emotion, right? And, then, like, every time, like, when the movie, when they're, like, oh, what do we do now, Joy? Like, Joy, what do we do? She is, yeah, she's the, she's the leader, right? And it's, uh, it's something we established in the first one, right? And then, but we get the idea, like, anxiety, she's the leader of the other gang, or, like, she just has, she just has a leadership personality or a dominant personality, just like Joy. So she automatically takes that role that Joy had. <sighs> it's like sneezing. I can feel it. It's itchy, but uh, I don't always see me. You may hear me sneeze on camera here. It's um, but yeah, I like that little fact that tidbit of uh, with the character how she uh, how do you call it? She she immediately bottles them up and uh, and they put them in a mason jar. <laughs> I like that the uh, the video game character, um, where it's like Riley's secrets, and she like only has three secrets in there, and two of the secrets is it's it's characters that she likes, I guess, but she's embarrassed that she likes these characters. So one of them, the video game character, is kind of cool, and like discuss has like a crush on him or something. She's very fond of him. She says, "Oh, he's so awesome. He's so dreamy." It's uh, how do you call? Let me turn this down. That's maybe that's copyright music in the background there. I don't know, but uh. I was like thinking in my head. I was thinking something. Yeah, I like when he's gonna leave the vault and he's like, uh, like a because he's a video game character. He like gets stuck and he can't leave, and then he like glitches up and down. He like he even does a T pose. I thought that was hilarious. And then the other the other character like this dog dog character like a door the explorer little kid type thing where he, it looks to the to the audience and says, "Do you know how to escape? Do you see the broken glass jar?" Right, and, and even it has, and then like how Dora has the book bag, this character has a uh, pouchy. That's what his name, pouchy, and then and then the anger keeps pouchy too, <laughs> and gradually keeps pouchy. Um, it's like my new friend pouchy, and and pouchy. Oh, I love it when, so they they go to the back of the mine because they have to get Riley's uh, like oh my god, what the fuck was it called? It was her her sense of self she has a sense of self and and it's like i'm a good person it's a positive she has a positive sense of self but anxiety ripped that bitch out and she said nah i'm gonna make a new one fuck this she got rid of that sense of self and so joy wants it back right and in any way i always like thinking in my head so they're, they're, they go i mean they go they go to the back of the mind right that's kind of the journey basically in the movies them going to the back of the mind to get that sense of self and they do get it they do accomplish that and they grab the sense of self at the back of the mind and in anger uh he calls pouchy he's like well we need an idea we need we need to like get you know we got the sense of self now we need to get back to the headquarters so we can reinstall it reinstate who riley is and not let this bitch dictate that riley like all of a sudden she into like this and that and blah 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 and so how do you call uh coming up on the red light here nice um what was i thinking in my head i was thinking of something thinking of something oh yeah pouchy pouchy comes in does his whole stick i got a, i got let's see what i got inside me i got the duct tape i got a rubber and, and and we don't have time for this you know we don't have time for this gimmick where we gotta like guess what you have in your mouth and all and so he so he grabs pouchy puts him down puts his arm in his his mouth <laughs> And starts pulling out dynamite. Discusses like really pouchy dynamite. Like you just have a fuck ton of dynamite inside you. That's the gimmick with you. Dynamite all the damn time. And pouchy gets an attitude. Pouchy actually gets it. Pouchy says, "Yo, what the fuck? I gave you the duck tag. I gave you the ducky. Like, 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 what you want from me, bro?" <laughs> I thought that was funny. The character actually, he actually snaps out of character, and he gives him like some attitude. And 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 anger even rolls up his sleeve because he's like, "I'm gonna go back in that mouth right now." <laughs> And, and continue digging in for some more shit. Oh, it was funny. I like that scene. Um, I like that there's like workers uh, around, and the workers they're like sometimes in the background, and they'll interact with the emotions every so often, right? There's a scene where they're like, they're uh, the w the woman. She's got like a clipboard, and she's saying like, "Oh yeah, pick up this one. Uh, pick up that emotion," and and 
the other the guys doing it right and but then they grab the machine that they're using and they use it to like push themselves up to the top of these like emotion the shelves that hold the emotions and and the the two workers on the bottom they look up and they're like you know we're just gonna pretend that that just didn't happen <laughs> they, like we're gonna pretend that this bitch really didn't just grab the fucking vacuum cleaner suction fucking thing and like just took our emotions just just and i was like yeah i i I already bet like don't even bother picking them up just leave them bitches on the floor bro like whatever is whatever you know what i mean that was funny i like that scene too the jail yeah the vault basically it's their jail right i like how they have have, like random buildings in the mine basically around um riley's head right oh and now there's a sarcasm chasm right that's another new thing and it actually ends up working in their favor that it gets created because when they have the dynamite blow up on the pillar that releases the bad emotions that they basically ride all the way back to the headquarter the mine headquarters it's uh how do you call they, they couldn't do that otherwise i don't think well maybe they could have actually i don't know but but it was it was just convenient because that sarcasm leads to the water i guess it's water i don't know what it is some liquid and 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 the liquid it's like in the at the bottom of the what do you call that fucking uh i guess maybe it's her amygdala maybe that's what that kind of the headquarters is supposed to be right because they, i mean after all that that's where the puberty uh and, and it's kind of funny because the construction workers that they come in initially to do the construction for the new for the new riley console and stuff they uh they say oh we're going on lunch by the way right until they leave but i don't think we don't even, we never see when they come back and we and we also see like inside riley's head that it's like kind of still disorganized and stuff like there's still like debris and shit all over and uh <laughs> and stuff like that it's um boredom the boredom was kind of a cool emoji it was french i forgot what the name was like we or something like that and but it's like a french it's like the character is french right the emotion and uh and and that emotion i love i love that it's uh the emotions like it's not just bored it's also lazy right it's like it can't be bothered to get up to walk to the console so it has a phone where it can connect you know it can like control the console with the phone so like if i don't feel like getting up to go and and to the physical thing i could just use my phone to use it right embarrassment is uh there's a he talks in the very end of the film and everybody's shocked because i'm like oh, wow embarrassment talk and then of course he gets embarrassed afterwards right it's and he has sweaty palms right mr uh mr embarrassment i like that when anxiety's doing her uh when they're gonna steal the notebook and anxiety and i like that riley doesn't get caught for stealing the notebook actually she actually gets away with it but when they're doing the whole gimmick of her like stealing going into the coach to steal the notebook and and, and and I'm like, Joy, I'm like what Joy said, like, do something. Like, what the fuck? Do something. Why are you still hiding behind these books? And why is embarrassment? Why are you not, why are you so afraid to take charge? Like, anxiety's doing, basically anxiety's doing everything. I guess it's kind of anxiety and then Envy's there along with her. It's, um, she's kind of like her wing woman, right, basically. <laughs> is, uh, because the other ones, the other ones, they're more passive. I mean, with embarrassment doesn't really touch it much actually it's kind of just he's kind of the least emotion that does the least amount and then with the boredom they're like the boredom actually kind of has some good ideas they're like oh my gosh like why are you over analyzing every fucking thing it's not that complicated let me show you what you gotta do and so boredom will come in and say like you're like oh you're like uh this food that we're eating it's okay it's it's just it's just fine it's just okay Actually, I think boredom is the one that made the sarcasm chasm, actually, because they'll just like they nonchalantly like, you know, Riley. Why is Riley gonna stress about like how her outfit looks or like, oh, let's go hang out with these people that we don't know? And so boredom would just say like, listen, I'm gonna take control. This is what she's gonna say. Oh, okay, yeah, whatever. We can hang out with him. It's it's like whatever, bro. It's uh, yeah. This review here, um or analysis thoughts well it's really just they, me talking about my thoughts on it overall i like the film I liked it very much five stars inside out two good movie thanks for listening